Edwin here on Stained Glass Cuts. Today I'm going to show you how to thread a brass rod. I use custom threaded rods in my hanging glass projects. Here are a couple of examples. Here are the materials I'm going to use today. A 332nd solid brass rod and 440 solid brass nut. Here are the tools I'm going to use today. Some diagonal cutters to cut the rod, a 440 die, a die handle, some 3-in-1 oil, and a file. Okay, let's start. First I'm going to take my diagonal pliers and cut our length of rod. I'm then going to take one end of the rod and file a blunt point onto it. The reason for doing this is it makes it easier to get it to start in your die. Once I've got that, I'm going to take my die and my die handle. I'm going to put the die into the handle and tighten down the set screw. One of the most important things when cutting any kind of rod, whether it's brass, steel, whatever, is that you use an adequate amount of lubricant. To help demonstrate this, I'm just going to put a quick bend in the end of the rod that allows me to hold it and twist it while I'm doing the demonstration. If you're going to do this, you might want to use a vise, a pair of pliers, a vise grip, something to hold the rod, and you can avoid putting the bend. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply oil to the rod and I'm going to apply some oil to my die. To start it, I'm going to start turning it clockwise into the die and as you go it will start to grip and bind as it starts to cut and what's kind of nice is the more you go in the more it begins to line up with the die. So once you feel it start to grip, then you can take it and you start twisting your die. Now do a couple of turns, back it off again, lubricate it, keep going, and you want to repeat this process. Back it off, oil, and continue this process. You can begin to feel it bind a little. That's a good time to back it off. Part of backing it off is to remove the burrs from the cutting. You'll feel it start to bind a little bit. Just back it off until it's easy. A little oil. And continue your cut. You continue this process until you achieve the length of the threading that you desire. At this point, you can see I've got probably a good half inch of threading. That's all that I'm going to do right now. At this point, you start to reverse your die. And when you get to a certain point, you'll start to see what fine threads you've made. All right. Take a rag or whatever you want to use to clean off your rod. If there's some burrs and you have trouble getting the nut going, a wire, a little wire brush will help. But I find that usually I don't. And so there you have it. There is your threaded rod. Hope this video was helpful. 
The materials and tools shown in this video are available via the links below. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Cheers.